What is up YouTube? It is Sunday evening, about to hit a leg workout, and I'm going to take you guys with me. Probably going to do a commentary in it, uh, explaining the movements I do. Not going to waste any time because it's getting a little dark outside. Got some My Protein BCAAs, uh, blue raspberry I believe, it's good as hell. And going to have myself a monster, hopefully hit a PR on squats. I'll see you guys at the gym. What is up YouTube? Come at you guys with another commentary. Uh, today I did legs and uh, it went pretty well. I didn't, I'm not showing all the lifts today because I'm just showing my compounds like my squat and my uh, stiff leg deadlifts. Um, but anyway, the reason I'm not showing all the lifts is because uh, the other one is like leg extensions, calf raises, hamstring curls. Like, I mean, you guys know how to do those. They're machines. So anyway, with my squat, I did three warm sets, uh, two with the bar, just trying to get the movement down basically, and then put a plate, a 25 pound plate on each side, uh, just to, again, to get the movement going, get my, get the blood flowing, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, it, w squats are something that I've had trouble with lately, uh, not like a se severe trouble with them, but I've just been working on my squat lately and trying to perfect it, my perfection, I guess, um, it's just something I always can improve on, and squats right now are the things I need to improve on the most. Uh, I know that a lot of times we get caught up in in progressive overload and just adding weight to the bar, and that's great and all, you know, I and mean, that's how you build muscle and make gains. Uh, but a lot of the times um, we also neglect the fundamentals of the lift, which is what I've been doing. Uh, so a lot of times, sorry, <laughs> what I'm just looking at this right now, and avoiding the or uh neglecting the fundamentals is like what i was talking about is i'm actually looking right now at my squat and my heels come up just a little bit a little bit more than i that i want them to and uh, i'm going to work on that for sure but one thing that really helped me understand uh the fundament fundam at uh, fundamentals fundamentals of the squat is so uh, watching this uh youtube video that bodybuilding.com did a while back with uh lane norton otherwise known as the squat doctor and the deadlift doctor, I guess. And one thing that I've I learned from that is you can have forward lean. You don't have to have your knees behind your toes completely. I'm mostly yes, but you can have a little bit of that forward lean. The most important thing is your hips are going back and your knees are going out, and the bar follows the same path on the way down and the way up. So if the bar is following the same path up and down, we know that the weight being the bar is at midfoot. Midfoot being you, the the center of you. Basically, like you're gonna be the most balanced, and also your spine is gonna be the most straight. Start talking about spine neutrality. Spine neutrality being probably the most important thing when it comes to squatting, because when your spine starts changing angles, especially during the movement, is when injuries occur. Now you can never 
fully prevent injuries. You can do everything, absolutely everything right, and it is you, you can still get injured. So what we're just trying to do is reduce the risk of getting injured while doing these movements. And then another thing, too, that I forgot to touch on at the beginning of this, um, at the beginning of me squatting, is I didn't realize that I was racking the bar, like, the wrong way for forever. <laughs> and you want to make sure that your feet are, again, at midfoot. The bar is being at midfoot. You want to make sure that you are directly under the bar, under the weight. And when you lift up, you don't want to. It's kind of like a half squat or a quarter squat. You don't want to bend your knees and just use your quads you actually drive your hips forward and contract your glutes and that just pops the bar right off uh, just something I learned maybe you guys can try it as well uh, and what this does is make sure you're using minimal energy to rack the bar that way you can concentrate all your energy on the actual movement actually squatting and driving the weight back up but these are just a couple tips that I found helpful fundamental tips and also a little little key tricks um, that I learned just from that video and watching it with the squat doctor, Lane Norton himself. But we're going to get back to the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Catch you in the next one. Alright guys, that's going to conclude tonight's leg workout. Uh, I'm gonna, I left out a couple exercises like leg extensions because you guys all know how to do leg extensions. It's pretty self-explanatory. Gym is really packed tonight. Full of these New Year's resolution people and I really hope you know they go through with it I want people to get into fitness that's what I'm trying to do is inspire people to get into fitness and just mot people, motivate people in general apologize for the the lighting here <laughs> it's really dark outside and I got like a really yellow like one little yellow bulb in my Jeep that is not put out a lot of light but anyway I just want to talk to you guys about uh, basically 2017 in general um, my goals I have a lot of goals like fitness related uh, non fitness related and just basically self growth and uh, I, the things I really want to focus on aside from like my gym goals and my fitness goals is really try to bring up my YouTube channel I'm really trying to focus on getting an, more of a following in YouTube like I really like to edit videos I like to upload videos I like to post to Instagram I like social media and I like showing people like what I'm up to and also trying to motivate others, you guys, uh, to get into the gym to, or just to do whatever you want to do. One thing I've taken away from a lot of other YouTubers I follow like Christian Guzman, Rob Lipset, and numerous others is, I mean, they didn't start, they're just normal people, you know, like just like me, just like you. And I mean, you can have whatever the fuck you want in this life if you work hard enough for it. And I mean, that's all I'm trying to say. So I got a lot of big plans for 2017, a lot of goals I wanna, I wanna accomplish and uh, I'm gonna do it. And also mock my words, my YouTube channel, you guys, you, you 13 subscribers, you are the OGs to this YouTube channel. But fuck, I just wanna grow, I just wanna grow my YouTube channel and just motivate people. Sounds really fucking cliche, doesn't it, I think? Motivate and inspire. Either way, you 13 subscribers are the OGs of this channel. I promise you there's gonna be big things to come. So I hope you guys, I'm gonna end the video right here. I hope you guys enjoy the workout footage. I'll probably do like a commentary behind it. But please give the video a thumbs up, like it, please. I appreciate it. And any of you guys watching that are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below. You will not regret it. I'm going to be putting out really good content. I got the new camera, good quality, big things to come. So like I said again, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.